It always bothers me when there's somebody who's playing really, really loud, like Mexican cantina music next to me because I want a taco really bad. All right, so today, guys, uh, man, that music is loud. Oh, man, I want some Mexican food. Cheese dip. Oh, I need some cheese dip. Okay, so today on the vlog, uh, what happened today? Uh, today was an, uh, a great day. We went over how to start slab construction in ceramics and for and surface design all is just about done with the calligraphy piece now we have to go through the antique aging process of paper which is um well i have a couple ideas and i hope that they work tomorrow we're going to take some tea we're going to put in a spray bottle we're going to spray the paper put it in a black trash bag set it outside to bake in the sun for a few days for a few hours and hopefully that it gets all crispy inside that black trash bag and turns into that perfect anti paper which is what we're looking for and then we can crumple it up and, and distress it just some give it that nice um, old linen kind of texture to it which is what I'm going for uh, so that the, we'll have these really cool uh, faux constitutions for the history department so what else is going on all right so today and how not to suck at teaching uh, a couple days ago I covered lesson plans uh, today we're going to be covering the opening of a lesson plan so for the opening of your lesson plan what do we got to talk about we got to talk about your how you open a class and how you create that opening thing uh, so when you're opening a class you have to talk to your students about how what is your pre-engagement activity what are you going to do to make it so it's fun it's interesting it's engaging for the student that's that's the opening is is for me the opening is preliminary sketches creating some sketch designs you ever pass a person you're thinking do i know them i hope i don't know them because that's just weird we're uh pre-engagement activities for me it's all it's all your preliminary sketches it's stuff in your sketchbook it's the, our discussion on what you're going to create how you're going to create why you're going to create it so that we get that that kind of in the way uh, and then i've got some examples that I do beforehand the big thing is is when you're doing an opening don't do just some bell to bell simple task because it gets repetitive the kids don't really learn anything and it's a waste of time for everybody now the benefit of that though there that that's all the bad stuff the benefit is that could be a quick grade so if you have if you need some uh, some extra grades in a grade book throw one of those uh, those little things down there but do it sparsely do it every so often that way a kid never gets bored in your class and it's always entertaining because that's the thing about education if it's not entertaining no one's learning no one cares I'm sorry to say that oh we're not clowns we don't get in front of people and dance around you kind of do because you have to stand up in front of a group of you know between four-year-olds and 24 year olds just depending on what's going on in your situation and you have to make them entertained and interested in what you're saying which could be the most boring thing ever but you have to have a passion to drive and an interest behind it otherwise learning does not happen i'm sorry just it's it's a fact so let's go over the opening one more time as you're opening up the work period for your class make sure that you have an interesting uh engaging activity something something that sparks that that questionable something that sparks that intellectual ability in that student for me you can always uh, think about it like clickbait for me that's that's something i have to think about all the time when i'm posting a video i want to make sure that it is engaging to a viewer so or it makes a viewer say hey i might want to check that out so let me click on it uh so what clickbait can you apply to your classroom as you're opening uh since they took away self-portraits and put in selfies and that and that was stolen from us i'm going to steal back opening that's clickbait how are you using clickbait in your classroom um to engage your students to have them interested in the engaging activity that you're about to provide for them all right you guys have a good one i will see you another day another class next class ciao